What's up guys and welcome to Eat Explore Hunt. My name is Jeff Bonniewell. So today's video I'm going to be sighting in my Mossberg 500 tactical turkey shotgun equipped with a True Glow gobble stopper 30 millimeter sight. So the shells I'm going to be using this spring are the Winchester Longbeard XR number six shot. These are three inch loads, one and three quarter ounce weight, and they have a muzzle velocity of 1200 feet per second. So let's get it done. So guys, one thing I like to do when I'm sighting in a brand new scope on a weapon is I actually prefer to use an all purpose round rather than using those heavy turkey loads. For one, you're, you're gonna get a decent idea of how your gun is shooting uh, on target and where you kind of need to adjust it from there. At the same time, you're saving your shoulder and you're saving a little money. So that's my tip. Um, I might end up shooting two, two different shells of the all purpose rounds. Um, it may only take one, so we'll see how it shoots, and from there we'll sight in the Longbeard XRs and pattern the gun. So, here we go. All right, so I'm gonna go take a look at that and determine where I need to adjust my sight from there. All right, so that last shot made it really close. So at this time, I'm gonna start shooting the Longbeard XRs and zero in my gun. So the target I'm gonna be using today is actually made by Caldwell Shooting Supplies. It's actually a peel and stick target. And as you can see, it's identifiable from where you're hitting to where you're not hitting on target. So on target, you have all these yellow explosions. Off target will be white. So that'll make it really easy for you guys to see where my gun is shooting. So I'll tag the link to this product in the description of this video. All right guys, this is the first shot with the Longbeard XR number sixes. We're at about 20 yards right now. Alright guys, so it's pretty obvious here. We're shooting just a touch high and a touch to the right. You know, that, that could have been me a little bit. Uh, I will shoot an, an additional round, but look at all those pellets that are still inside that kill area of this bird. These targets are so cool. I mean, that, that bird is tore up, son. I mean, he his whole top of his noggin is gone. Now imagine this whole load hitting him right there definitely a dead turkey so I'm gonna put another target another target up here I'm gonna make some adjustments to the reticle a uh, little bit of elevation and right to left so we'll see how much better it shoots with those adjustments see that it's a nice peel and stick target after you shoot it if you wanted to save it for your records you can just peel it right back off Alright guys, so to make the adjustments to the True Glow Gobble Stopper 30 millimeter sight, it's very simple. If you want to adjust the elevation, so up and down, you come to this top screw right here. So this big compartment, it's not only how you control the brightness and the color of the reticle, but at the very top there's a small cap. If you remove that, there's actually a spare battery in there. So you come to this smaller cap towards the back of the sight. And you just remove that. Maybe you can see it, maybe not, probably, probably not. So if you want, if you need to adjust your shot down, you need to move it down, you're going to rotate it the opposite direction of up. If you need to move your shot up, you turn it up. Very simple. 
just make sure you don't lose your cap and put it back on snug okay if you need to move left to right you have one on this side here you remove it and if you look in the direction it's going like this which would be counterclockwise is how you move left so go the opposite direction clockwise to go right so you need to move your where your impact is on target left you rotate it where it says left you need to go right you go opposite of that so very simple all right guys so i made my adjustments to my scope we're ready to shoot and get this gun patterned Alright, so I mentioned my concern in my review of this gun with the uh, buttstock pad. So I went ahead and bought an aftermarket. It's the recoil eraser pad. I did an Amazon review on this product also. I'm very satisfied with the way it fits on the gun and the way it erased the recoil. It, I'm very impressed by that. Um, I, I shot the weapon twice off camera, of course. Um, without this pad and man it, it kicked the crap out of my shoulder. Yeah, I was hurting for days actually two shots and With this pad on here it, it made a huge difference So I'm very happy with that so far, but let's go take a look at this and see where we're at. Alright guys, so it looks like I, I definitely am off to the left a couple of inches, but the height of the shot, the elevation is right around where I want it. But I'm going to use this as a point of reference. I'm going to make another adjustment to my, my scope and we're going to shoot again. All in all, really cool targets. So you can see they explode white when they're outside of the kill area and when they're in the kill area they explode yellow. We completely blew his beak off in this shot. We've got a ton of kill shots in the neck and one directly in the eye, actually. So, all in all, great targets. I, I really like these Caldwell shooting targets. So, make an adjustment and go from there, shoot another round. All right, guys, so I made another adjustment to my sight and we're ready to shoot another round. Take another look. All right, guys. So it looks like I'm adjusted just a hair too far to the right. Uh, I'll, I'll get that dialed in, and then I'm going to take one more shot for today, and it's actually going to be a 40-yard shot. I'd say a majority of my shots are between 25 to 30 yards. However, I, I do want to know how this gun shoots at 40. So here at 20, we're completely blowing this dude's brains out. He that is a dead bird all day long even if even if you pull one way or another or your elevations off just a hair you have all this kill area that you're aiming at and we there's dozens hundreds of pellets inside his kill area so very satisfied with that like i said i will get it dialed in just a hair more you might you won't see that on camera and you won't see that shot but next shot you'll see will be 40 yards Wow, I couldn't have got that any better if I tried. We're 40 yards on the dot here to my target. So this will be the final shot of the day, shooting the brand new Mossberg 500 Tactical Turkey Shotgun. And we're shooting the Winchester Longbeard XR 3 inch number six shot. That's a mouthful, isn't it? So, 
So I, I ideally do not want to shoot a bird at 40 yards. The closer the birds are, the better the experience for me and for you guys. But 40 yards, every once in a while, you need to be able to reach out and touch them. So 40 yards is a, a good a good range. So we're going to get this gun shot and see how tight our pattern is. Definitely smoked it. I can see that from here. Another thing I really like about the True Glow Gobble Stopper, the fact that you can adjust the brightness and the color of the reticle. So on a overcast day like today, it's a beautiful day, but it's just kind of ugly looking overcast and windy but on a day like today I, I like to run it on a red reticle and I'm kind of at a medium brightness you know it's it's about noon today right now so uh, medium brightness and red it stands out great now on the sunnier days a lot of times I, I like to run a blue or the green reticle about medium power maybe a little higher overall I love the improvements I've made to this gun adding this true glow gobble stopper it, it gives you a sense of comfort you know getting to see exactly where that center reticle dot is on that bird it, it gives me a sense of comfort when i'm shooting i i do like the the stock sights that come on this weapon but i already have the sight and it would kind of be a waste of money not to use it so i'm very very happy with the improvements i've made if you haven't seen that video, I'll add a banner at the top for you. So here's what 40 yards looks like. Very happy, very satisfied with that. You can see there's a ton of shot right in this area, all in the kill area here. There's a lot of shot around it, so you need to be careful when you're shooting. If you're in a state like Indiana, you're only allowed one long beard, one gobbler per spring season. So you need to make sure you know the pattern of your weapon. The last thing you want to do is kill a bird illegally. You know, you, you don't want to do anything to jeopardize your future and jeopardize your chance of hunting later on down the road. So make sure you know your weapon. Uh, get comfortable with it. Shoot it. Shoot it a lot. It hurts after a while. You know, my shoulder's starting to hurt after several shots, but, you know, without doing this, I wouldn't feel right or comfortable being in the turkey woods trying to harvest a bird. So it's something you have to do. If you want to go out and you want to hunt, you have to know your gun. You have to know your abilities. Well, folks, thank you so much for watching Eat, Explore, Hunt and watching me sight in my Mossberg 500 Tactical Turkey Shotgun. It's equipped with the True Glow Gobble Stopper 30 millimeter sight. And today I was shooting the Winchester Longbeard XRs number sixes. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Comment down below, what type of weapon are you using this spring in the turkey woods? What type of shells are you using? Are you using the new TSS and what are your thoughts on them? I personally have not used them yet, so I do not have an opinion, but I have seen the price tag and I can tell you they are very expensive. So guys, I wanted to talk real quick about patterning your gun. I may have not said it earlier in the video and I wanted to be sure to touch base on this. Make sure you know your weapons before you ever head out to hunt any wild game. The last thing you want to do is make an unethical shot on a living animal. You know, we're out here hunting these animals. I'm doing it for not only the meat, but also the experience of being in a new place and the thrill of chasing and cat and mouse with a long beard. But make sure you know your gun. The last thing you want to do is break the law. You don't want to kill a bird you don't have a tag for. You don't want to kill a hen because you don't know the pattern of your weapon. Make sure you see your shot and you see through your shot. Know what's behind your target before you ever pull that trigger. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one.